Welcome Pisces guys. I'm back y'all with another video. So yes, I've been in my A um, for a few weeks. So I'm back now and I'm ready to do the thing. You know, we're going into, well, we're in September. Um, so let's talk about September. Let's see what messages we got for you guys for the month of September. These are love messages. It may or may not resonate with you. But if it does happen to resonate, guys, be sure to hit that like button, okay? That's a way to energetically um, contribute to the channel and its growth, as well as comment below, all right? As well as share with your family and your friends. If you're new, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe because you aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. All right, Pisces, so let's talk, all right? It's been a while. Let's see what's going on for the month of September. All right, what's going on in love for the Pisces for the month of September? What messages do we got for the Pisces? Mm, we got a couple of jumpers. Let me light up this sage, honey. Let's get this thing going. So I feel like somebody knows that they... <clears throat> that they cross the line with you. Somebody knows that they've overstepped their boundary with you and someone feels as if they wish that things could be different, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we got, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. This person still feels your energy even though you guys are apart. But I think this person is burying themselves in work and other things to try and forget you, to try and move on, try to keep put, pressing forward. But I don't think it was easy for this person to let you go or for you guys to separate. So for some of you, this is about an ex, okay? They know that they crossed the line with you. Now they're wishing things would be different. Okay, so they're saying that they were a distraction, they were a distraction. They came in to distract you in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. They came in to distract, to distract you in some way, shape, or form. Okay? This person does still want you. They want to be around you. They still want to be... They still want you in some way, shape, or form. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, you, you and this person, this person wants to, we got, we will be together again. So this person may want to come back around to you. I'm getting a feeling of, I know I, I know I messed up. I wish that things could have been better, you know, or maybe this person has some, some things distracting them from this connection. This person does want to be around you, want to be near you, want to be in your energy. And they can't stop thinking about you. They think about you all the time. This person may not be reaching out to you. I mean, this person may not be speaking, but this person thinks about you all the time. I couldn't let you get too close to me. And here we go again. We'll be together again. I really do feel like this person wants to reconcile. But for some reason, I think it's because they had other things going on. I think they had other things and other people distracting them from this connection that they couldn't let you get too close. And I feel like that's why they couldn't let you get too close. But nonetheless, this person thinks about you all the time, but they know for a fact that they've crossed the line with you. They know like they over did it they they took it a step too far yeah see this i buried myself in work to forget you <clears throat> so they're trying to keep themselves busy they're trying to keep themselves busy focused on work so they won't think about you so much but they can't stop thinking about you <laughs> like they can't get you off their mind they can't stop thinking about you hmm interesting pisces interesting all right, give me some love messages from the Romance Angels. And let's see, what is this person? What are their next moves, like their intentions? Let's get some more details about this person. 
Tell me more about Pisces past person. Finances and career. Yeah, like they could be going through something financially or they're really, really focused on money. Okay, we got soulmate. And then we got it is safe for you to love. All right, there was definitely a lot of deception going on in this connection. I can definitely see that. And the situation was unrequited. So there's not only is there deception going on, lies and manipulation and uh, people wearing false masks. The situation was just, it just wasn't was enough chemistry to keep the connection going. It was unrequited. Like it just didn't have what it needed to keep this relationship going. So, I do feel like your person is burying themselves in their finances and their work. The attraction is still there, whether it be physical attraction. Some of you could be dealing with someone that has some type of addictions or this person like was very, very codependent upon you. Um, but there's something here about learning and forgiving and learning. Okay. So someone here, it looks like someone here needs to apologize. Someone has to be the bigger person in the situation and apologize. I'm getting that there could be trust factors. This could be religious factors. There could be one person believes one thing and the other person believes in something else. Yeah. See, we got healing family issues right here. Okay. So definitely some healing and some forgiveness needs to happen before this connection can come back together. There's more that you need to know about this person. This person needs to get to know you more. I feel like you've grown since the separation. This person may have grown during the separation. We got retreat. Yeah, see, a lot has been going on while you guys have been separated. Somebody's been flirting with somebody. Somebody could have um, someone else that they've been getting to know. Stay optimistic about your love life. So, oh, okay. Romantic feelings. Yeah, this person still has romantic feelings, but something about this connection is a red flag, okay? If this person comes back around and wanting to reconcile, I feel like there's still some red flags about this situation. Because while this person was gone and while you guys were on separation, what has this person been doing? I'm getting that this person could have been having you know having flings one night stands could have been going around doing all of this okay but i feel like very soon this information is going to get come to you you're going to find out what's been going on with this person but i do feel like this person wants to come back around and reconcile i feel like this person i'm getting that this person wants to come back and reconcile with you but what's been going on while you guys were separated is more of the question. What's been going on? And I feel like you aren't going to be in the dark for, for much longer. If there's something that you don't know about the situation, this person comes back around wanting to reconcile. I feel like the truth is going to come out regardless. But spirit is definitely warning. There is definitely a warning of... Pay attention to the red flags because it does look like this person is going to come back and try to reconcile and get things back on track with you. Get things back to how they were. But I do sense during a, separ a separation there was there was some other stuff going on. There was some other people in the mix of the situation. So I feel like there's some tea that you need to find out first before you jump into this situation all right so let's pull some tarot and let's see what messages we get let's see what messages we get here for pisces give me a message for pisces please for the month of september what does pisces need to know about this person What does Pisces need to know about this person? Five of Wands, there's competition for one. So there are other people. 
Tell me what else does Pisces need to know. Yeah, this person is juggling. Okay, we got two of pentacles. This person dealing with this situation, it, it just feels like it's going to be a lot of competition, a lot of conflict. And this person is juggling. And someone here could be just be getting put on hold. Like, someone is going to get put on hold. Tell me more about this five of wands energy, please. And the death card and the sun. A Leo could be involved or a Scorpio could be involved. I feel like, see, I feel like some information could come to you. Something that you don't see. This is what you don't see coming. That there's going to be some competition. Two of Cups. Okay, and the Devil and the Ten of Wands could be done with the Capricorn. But listen... This situation is so damn toxic. <clears throat> Excuse me. This situation has so many issues. Baggage. It's extremely toxic. Okay. It's extremely toxic. I'm going to be honest. Now, we got the Two of Pentacles here. The Ace of Cups wanted to jump out. This person, Two of Swords. This person is very indecisive. They're indecisive about their feelings. <coughs> They're indecisive about their feelings. They aren't sure who exactly they want to be with. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm getting up for a cold. <coughs> this person is indecisive about who they want to be with, for one. They can't make up their mind. They're keeping secrets. This person is stuck. Like, they don't know. This person doesn't know exactly what it is they want. And they got... <coughs> they got a lot of secrets. Okay? This person is extremely risky. Like, they just do things off, off of a whim. They do things first and think about the consequences and things later. Five of Pentacles. This person could be having financial issues as well. Like, yeah, this person gives me opportunist vibes. Like, they, this person definitely could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn with the King of Pentacles here. But this person with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands, this person is a player, okay? They're a player. When they see an opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles, they're going to go They're gonna go for it, okay? This person could, you know, give you amazing sex or whatever, but that's really all this situation is. Like, it's just fun. Okay. Yeah, look at this. The Four of Cups and the Lovers. This is not going to be a loving situation. It's, it's, this person is, is, is hell on wheels. Okay. Now we got the hangman here. The world. Somebody's going to get put on hold until something is over. I'm getting karmic, karmic energy world and justice i'm getting karmic energy so they're dealing with uh karmics this person is going to try to sweet talk you um and this is going to be disappointments four cups nine of wands this is definitely a warning ten of swords yeah I just don't see this situation, like, dealing with this person. Yeah, see, there's not going to be any progress. No forward movement. Could be dealing with the cancer. There's going to be no forward movement, okay? There's not, this person is definitely not ready for a commitment at all. This person here, in this situation, they're not ready for a commitment at all. This person is on some fly-by, fly-by, fling type of energy. Okay, this person is not ready. If you're looking to settle down, this person is not the person. They're not, they're not, they're not it. At least right now, they're not. Now, we're going to put some advice from the angels, and then I'm going to let you guys go. All right, so, I don't feel like you guys really need no advice. 
I just feel like this everything about this person screams red flag. <laughs> like everything. But we'll get some advice. We'll see what the angels have to say. Tell me, uh, give me some advice for my Pisces in regards to this situation. For the ones that this is their situation. advice for Pisces please didn't I tell you spirit straight up is saying no okay with exclamation point no this person is not it I'm telling you no no okay we got two no's here I'm telling you this is a no this is a flat out no not the right time spirit is saying this is not the right time and and the thing about it is, is I'm telling you, I feel like we got abundance in reverse. I feel like this person could be not so lucky, not luck not being on their side. This person could be going through a lot of financial issues. And I just feel like that person, you don't need that type of energy. You don't need that type of energy. Like, don't let this person come around trying to mess up your flow of things. A year from now, spirits like maybe a year from now, but yeah, we got a year from now and then we got to take action. But right now is not the right time. It's not the right time to deal with this person. Okay, this saying the situation will improve. The situations will improve. I feel like maybe like within a year, but we got you're ready. Okay, it was kind of turned sideways. Why is you're ready here? Tell me more about you're ready. Recovery. Okay, there's something that needs to be, you have to recover. And, and I don't feel like you've recovered from it yet because recovery is in the reverse. There's something about this situation that you haven't recovered from completely. So this is about when you're ready. And I feel like for some of you, you just aren't ready. Don't let this person push you into or bribe you or make you feel like things were your fault or try to trick you into this situation. Spirit got a no on this table twice and saying that this is not the right time. It's not the right time to press forward, okay? I'm getting like you, you, you're trying to recover from something and you haven't fully recovered. I just don't feel like it's the right time for you to press forward. Spirit is saying, look, maybe a year from now, maybe a year from now, but not right now. Something about improving health. Okay, somebody, somebody's health could be at stake. That's what I'm saying. We got recovery and improving your health. Somebody's health could be at stake. But Spirit is definitely saying, look for a sign. Okay, look for a sign in this situation. Like, if things just is just always leading to a no or think, pay attention to how you feel when you discuss this person or you just just pay attention to that. All these are signs, okay? But spirit flat out is saying no to this situation. So that's the message that I got from my Pisces. If this message seems to resonate with you guys, be sure to let me know, okay? Hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to comment share with your family and your friends as well as subscribe if you are new all right until next time my loves ciao for now